I have one vehicle in the ditch. It's a 221, and then it's a 220. I took another call of a vehicle on its roof. That call wasn't streamed over the internet. It wasn't coming from my local network. That was real, native, P25 radio traffic decoded directly on Android by Pocket25, a DSD Neo-based decoder. Let's go ahead and get everything set up. The first thing you'll want to do is locate your OTG or on-the-go host mode so that you can enable that in your phone settings. Once enabled, we can then plug in our RTL SDR with an OTG cable adapter. And then select Pocket 25 from the list. Now that Pocket 25 is up and running, we're going to head over to the settings screen so that we can set up a manual configuration. This is really good for taking a control channel or perhaps a conventional channel and listening to it directly. We have the option of a native RTL SDR as well as the option to refresh. And we have the option for RTL TCP server connections as well. Here we have my default um, settings for a control channel in my area. We'll go ahead and apply those settings and then press start. From here, we should now be listening to that control channel. Let's head back out and we're going to switch over to the log tab. And we can now see a live log from DSD running on the phone and decoding a phase one P25 radio system. Now let's say you wanted to import a radio system from radioreference.com. Well, you can do that too from the Radio Reference Import Settings screen. Log into Radio Reference. And once logged in, you'll be able to either browse location, where you can pick Canada or the United States, or you can use the GPS location of your device to find radio systems in your location. Once a location has been found, simply select Import and give it some time so that it can import all of the control channel information, site data, location data, as well as data relating to the talk groups on the radio system. This import might take some time, so please give it a moment to do so. Once finished, we'll get a notification at the bottom of the screen letting us know that the importation has completed. We can now back out and select the system from our systems list. From here, we'll select the Ohio Mark system, and you'll see that this will automatically sort uh, by GPS location, so we'll get the nearest site first. We can also enable GPS site hopping to automatically switch to a site um, based on your GPS location. Now for a quick overview, here's our scanner screen, which will give us the information regarding what site and control channel we're currently connected to. And there's also the site screen. This will give us information about the current site that we're listening to, as well as neighboring sites that are uh, presented to us by the DSD decoder from the P25 radio system. We then have the network tab. This will give you more detailed information about the network, including your, near your neighbor sites, patches currently active on the network, group attachments, and affiliations if any have been heard since you started the application. While my end goal is to make this universally available through the Google Play Store, unfortunately that's going to take some time. So in the meantime, you'll be able to download this application directly at sarahsforge.dev or you can find it on pocket25.com. Either way you go, you should be able to download the application and future updates through this website and not only use it on a Phase 1 P25 site, but because it is based on the DSD Neo engine, in theory it is capable of listening into other radio systems as well. I'm currently looking for system samples that I can use to improve the application, and if you're able to do that, more information can be found on the pocket25.com website. Uh, give Public Works Director a call and just make sure he does have a crew coming on 11. And if not, I you might want to see if he can get some. The roads are pretty bad. Thank you. Good. Four is out with a. Bus of some sort blocking the southbound lanes just north of 307. Break. Go ahead. 
get it there. One unit available for South County. Break. I'm gonna hit this mess up in front of me, then I'm gonna hit that trigger around and head back. F O four four seventeen. All right, I gotta check on the jack right. semi, and then I'll be in route though. They were advised it might be an extended ETA until we can get their three leader only available South County unit. Uh, three oh seven. And go opposing traffic. Yeah, three seven four. I'll be out here. Three two seven. TMC to uh, uh, plow truck driver ninety and seven in state routes. Uh, to do the ramps at 90 and 7. They've got a bunch of trucks that are having trouble on the ramps. Full ramp block. There's no way we can even get up there without the club on the top and the back track. I don't ask for somebody to come back. <laughs> Yeah, you're not going to be able to do anything from the bottom, so you'll have to uh, go up on top and back down the ramp, I guess. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The car side here, I'll be up. Lay the salt down real heavy when you're backing down that ramp, Connor. I'm speaking from experience. Thank you. Well, we run it in a second and get you a description. Hey. Caller wanted to remain anonymous, but she wanted a welfare check on her 17-year-old friend, Emily Jarvie. I guess she spoke to this female, and the female said that her dad is hating her. Supposedly, there's already a case going. I believe Adam is here. 